Okay, so now that we have that installed, let's go ahead and power it on. Well, yes, uh, it says I can't connect to floppy because I don't have one. So do you want to try to connect this virtual device every time? No. So let's just continue this. We'll just leave that. And we'll make this. Okay, so it looks like we're up and running now. Here we have a list of all the applications that came installed. So we have your typical calculator, um, the space analyzer, terminal, which is uh, comes in very handy for if you want to do anything in the back end. Uh, I guess that's probably the equivalent of Notepad. Let's take a look. Okay, so yeah, it's the equivalent of Notepad here. So all in all, like this is a like really nice looking uh, operating system they got. Uh, what else do we have? We got some games installed here. Isle Riot Solitaire. Okay. Places, desktop, home folder, documents, videos, my music. Let's go to computer and see how much hard disk space we have, which should be... So those are all the install files. Okay, so free space 15. Uh, so it took about 5 gigs of space. Oh, it's still analyzing here. Let, let that run just to see, out of curiosity, how much space it took. And we have Firefox already installed that comes with it. If only Windows could follow this trend. That's good. Let's test out something in Flash just to see if Flash is installed. Let's go to FWA. Ah, okay, let's try the F. Wait a minute, I guess it's not installed. another side here. Okay, so Flash Player did not come with it installed, so we'll, we have to download that. I'll just close this for now. And quit. So it took 3.2 gigabytes to uh, hard disk space for the installation, which is about right if we only gave it 20 gigs. So a formatted size of 20 gigs would be around 18 or so. So that that's normal. Okay. So different views, list view, compact view, icon view, system preferences. This would be the equivalent of your control panel in Windows. Remote desktop, it comes, that's a great application if you're, uh, uh, especially if you're doing uh, some helping, helping a friend out on another computer. For monitors. Okay, now let's check out some more of the applications here. So we have uh, Open Office which it said it came with, uh, word processor spreadsheet presentation, sound and audio, we got a movie player, and let's check out the software center. So like it, like it mentioned in the uh, SEP, it, uh, it comes with 
a store. I guess it's more like a center. It wouldn't be a store because we'd have to pay for it. And we have all kinds of apps here that we can get for free. Games, even. All kinds of free games here. So there is a lot of development that is going into this to make it a very nice complete package and it's safe to say that this is a full capable a fully capable operating system that anybody could get away with uh, doing er everyday uh, tasks on okay and update manager oh we have some updates here but that's okay we don't need to do that and so there's two ways you could obviously power it off the Linux way or if we ever wanted to uh, release our mouse and just power it off using the play pause stop uh, suspend is it actually leaves it open when running and pauses it which is exactly what that icon's for stop basically powers off the virtual machine so yes power off and that's it and yeah so that's pretty much it that you all need to do uh, in order to install an, uh, Linux in VMware. It's super easy to use as you can see just as before it's literally the click of one button and it runs you through a nice setup wizard that is too easy to use so thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this